Well, hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you, Yanadi? I'm fine, teacher. And you? How I'm was your day? Good, Hi. It was good evening, teacher. Hi, welcome, Thelma. Welcome. We're about to begin here in about one minute, okay? It's okay. 7 59. Okay. okay. So be ready. Okay. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, Carlos. Welcome. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, Alvin. Welcome. Good evening. We are about to begin. So it's eight o'clock sharp. Welcome, everyone. Thank you for your punctuality. And we will um, continue with our next activities, right? I will give maybe everyone a little bit more time to connect. And then uh, I'm going to take the attendance. And then we will go to breakout rooms and finish what we started yesterday. So we can begin our oral presentations. So I hope everyone's beginning to get ready. Let me see. <clears throat> I think I have the groups here from yesterday. Hello, Jackie. Hello, good evening. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. All right. Welcome, Juan Jose. How are you? Fine. Fine. Okay. Did they contact you? Yes. Okay, great. Great. Awesome. That's awesome. Okay. Everything worked out? Everything was fine? Yes. Yes. I began in the platform. Okay. Today. Well, that's great. Right. And thank you for contacting me. Okay. And letting me know about okay. the situation with the platform. Right. So I, I immediately called, I think it was Jason that contacted you, right? Yes, yes, yeah. it was right. immediately. Yeah, yeah, great, great. Para que vea, right? So you can see, we're right here to help you, right? No problem. Thank you. I okay. appreciate, I appreciate you uh, contacting me. Let me see. And that goes with anyone else. Aliemahaki, if you need any help or assistance, remember, you can co contact me hasta la 12 midnight. I'm awake. Eh, and I get up early too, okay? Me levanto temprano. Aquí está Juan José para comprobarlo, right? A las nueve de la mañana. He was contacting me, right? And I look at the message is very quick and try to help you as soon as possible, right? That is my priority. Recuerden, mi prioridad son ustedes, right? As students. Let me see. So if you have any issues, any issues in the platform, please do not hesitate to contact me directly. <clears throat> All right, let me see. Now, remember yesterday we were doing an activity in, in breakout rooms, right? Yes. Okay, can someone, to, can someone share with the class just a little refreshment? What was that activity about? We're going to continue with that activity today because you're going to give your presentations, right? In accordance to what, whatever you as a group, whatever you decided to do or whoever decided to speak for that group, they are welcome to do it. 
can someone give the class just a brief summary of what what we are doing right now in groups what are, what are we doing in groups anyone Yes, teacher. We are going to talk about the direct channels and in, in direct channels of the distribution. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. That is correct, right? We are focusing on direct and indirect channels of distribution. And that is all related to unit one, right? Unit one. And um, I, had, I had you in groups yesterday. It was five groups, three, six, seven, eleven. It was uh, five groups yesterday. And group number one was Francisco, Neftali, and Thelma. Two was Alvin, Blanca, Fredis, and Jackie. Three was Abigail, Doris, Juan Jose, and Jessica. Uh, let me see, Yanari, what I mean, Yanari. And Group number four was Carlos, Jennifer, and Miguel. And group number five was um, Edwin, Glenda, and Iris, right? Hello, Rolando. Aha. Hello, teacher. How are you? Good evening. Hey, all right. I'm fine. I'm really fine. Hello, hello. All right. Hello, yes. hello. You were not here <laughs> yesterday, but I'm glad you're here today, right? Now, Thank you. Okay. I'm now. ready. Okay, now that Rolando's here, he is here right now, Rolando. And in the last in the last module, we did a um, like a small contest, right? Pequeño concurso, right? And what I did was I gave out a little bit of money, right? And I plan to do that in this module too. Okay, planeo hacerlo aquí también con usted. This is just between me. And you, okay? This is just between us, all right? Now, I minister, mean, uh, this is me and you, right? So I'm going to do a contest in this module also, but I'm going to voy a incrementar los dólares, right? I'm going to Rolando. Usted ya sabe lo que ganó la última vez, right? And for this time, I'm going to double it. Lo voy a duplicar, all right, Rolando? So you already know what I'm talking about. Right, and I'm talking about real money. Estoy hablando de dinero, real money, not not uh, for playing, right? Unless you want Bitcoin, también se lo mando en Bitcoin si quiere. Right? <laughs> okay, very so, nice. All right, it's so, a good idea. <laughs> uh, I have like two or three different uh, cryptocurrency wallets, or if you want it in bank, I can send it to your bank. If you want a recarga, I can send it that way also, or however way you want it. Okay, the winner. Uh, will be selected and um, I'm going to do I'm going to do it a little bit different this time okay but I'm just going to let you know that it's not going to be in the unit one it's going to be probably in unit in unit two que la más larga, the longest one unit two la logística logistics right on unit two is going to be about logistics logistics and that is going to be two weeks okay that is going to be two weeks and so be ready for that okay i'm going to select a, a winner and the winner will receive that uh that money okay so be ready for that all right everyone is included todos están incluidos en ese en ese concurso all right i'm going to do first it's going to be two winners, first and second. First and second, all money, all right, all money. So be ready for that. That Rolando is like, yeah, otra vez, right? So this is straight from me. Remember that, right? So don't go asking administration, hey, el concurso que no, no, no. This is between teacher Henry and you, okay? Teacher Henry and you, all right. So remember that. All right, so don't go asking, oh, el concurso, cuando va a ser? No, no, this is not about administration. This is about me and you. I just want to clarify that. Ya Rolando ya sabe, right? Bueno, los demás que estaban conmigo de last class know what I'm talking about. So I just want to share that with you so you can be ready for unit two when it comes to logistics. 
I want you to do a good job. It's going to be a project that I'm going to assign and I'm going to select the winners. I'm going to select first place and then the second place will be selected by your peers. Si quiere decir peers. What does that mean? If I say oh. by your peers. Does anyone know what that word means? Peers? Mm -hmm. Yeah, your peers, right? Your peers. O sea, entre ustedes mismos, right? Among, amongst you as students, your peers, all right? So that is what that means. The same as you, which is your own classmates, like we did last time. All right. Now, having said this, I'm going to take the first attendance, okay? The first attendance will be right now, okay? Are you ready? Okay, Abigail. Abigail, not here, okay? Blanca. Blanca. Okay, not here. Brenda. Brenda. Okay. I'm All driving right. right now. Okay, Blanca. Well, thank you for telling me, okay? I almost got in home. Okay, no problem. You can turn off your camera if you want, okay? When you get home, you can uh, re uh, better connection real quick, okay? Well, thank you, Blanca. Brenda? Okay. Let me see. Carlos. I'm here present teacher. All right, great. Thank you. And Doris. Present. Hello. Doris. All right. Hello. All right. Let me see. Edwin. Edwin. Okay. No answer. Francisco. Francisco, okay, no answer. Freddy's, all right, great, thank you. Glenda, Glenda, okay, no answer. Iris, present teacher. Okay, thank you. Jackie, present. Jackie. All right, thank you, Jackie. Jarvin. All right, awesome. Jennifer? Jennifer? Okay, no answer. Juan Jose? Okay, okay thank you. Carla Margarita Orellana? Oh, yeah, no? No? All right. Miguel? I'm here, teacher. All right, welcome. Thank you. Okay, Neftali. Present. Okay, great. Let me see. I like your background, Neftali. Very artistic. Let me see. Rolando. Roland. Hello, hello. All hello, right. Hello. All right. Thelma. I'm here, teacher. All right. Janari. Here. Okay. <laughs> Janari está viendo todos los papelitos. <laughs> okay, Janari. Okay. And finally, Alvin. I'm here, teacher. All right. Thank you. Okay. Now. We are going to continue. Remember, we are going back to breakout rooms and you're going to finalize. I want you to finalize within no more than 10 minutes, no more than 10 minutes. I want you to finalize your, whatever you have going on with your, with your group. I want you to finalize and come to a conclusion and be ready to give your oral presentation. Right. So for some of you, I don't know, let me see. Rolando, you were not here yesterday, right? So what we were 
But I prepared. You're prepared. Uh, some, some, something along. All right. Just in case, Rolando, I'm going to show you here what we did yesterday. All right. And it says when you were doing a research of a variety of products, whether a company sells a product directly or indirectly to the consumer. And then find at least two for each one, direct, indirect distribution channel. And then give an oral presentation expressing your thoughts. This is the activity after we finish breakout rooms. You're going to give an oral presentation expressing your thoughts. So remember, for each okay. topic is at least one minute, 30 seconds to a minute. It just be brief. Okay, porque recuerda que somos bastantes aquí. So, let's not take a lot, a lot of time, but enough time to give your specific information in relation to the topics. Okay, now as a group, you can select one or two or everyone. You decide. There are five groups, five groups. You decide as a group. I think in group number, let me see. Do, 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 Group number two, Alvin, did they say you were going to speak for the whole group, Alvin? <laughs> I think that's what Blanca said, right? <laughs> no, I'm not, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. Let me see. If you want to take a, a screenshot, you can for Rolando. If you want to take a screenshot of this, you can because this is the activity. Okay, any questions? Any questions? Are you ready to finalize? I'm going to give you like 10 minutes to finalize and get everything going. You can show, you can uh, share screen when you give your presentations, if you want. If you just want to just say it, you can also do it that way also. Or you can, you can create a small, maybe one slide or two slides in PowerPoint. You can do that also, okay? So just remember, we have a little bit of time left. So I'm going to put you in breakout rooms, the same breakout rooms that you were yesterday. So let me see. It was five. Right. Group number one was um, Francisco. Hello, good evening, teacher. All right, welcome. Oh, okay. in group. Sorry for for the late. No problem, Neftali. I have some problems. Okay, we're going to go in breakout rooms. Okay. Okay. All right, and Telma. Group number two was Alvin, Blanca, Freddy's, and Jackie. Group number three was. Abigail, she's not here today. Or is she here now? No, todavía no entrado. Doris, Juan Jose, and Janari. Room number four, Carlos, Jennifer, not here, and Miguel. Okay. Room number five. Edwin is not here, Glenda, Iris. Okay, um, Jarvin, I'm going to put you with one of these uh, groups, okay, Jarvin, just so you can be with them, and okay. Rolando also, okay? Let me see. Okay, are you ready? One, yes. two, three. Okay, breakout rooms. You're going to get the message right now. Please enter.
Hello, Glenda. Glenda? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Oh, uh, what happened? I have connection problems now. Okay, I'm okay. Sorry. No problem. I'm going to put you in the group, okay? Okay, thank you. All right, no problem.
have maybe if I like to uh, I don't know how do you say association 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 with with all brands for example Coca Cola or Pepsi um you can so or buy sorry buy uh, uh this product Coca Cola into the restaurant. That's why freshness perfect is the <laughs> slogan. Perfected, perfected. Perfected. Have right. you ever heard about asepsia? Asepsia? Mm, no, I have never, I've never had. Okay, it's new for us. What do you think <laughs> it is, teacher? Mm, some type of drink? And uh, no, it's about food. Okay. It's about food and vegetables. Okay. Oh, it's, it's beverage too. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right. So it is some type of drink, right? Yeah, drink, vegetables. Okay. Oh, nice, nice. So that's going to be the your topic, direct or indirect, or? Yeah, I'm going to talk about indirect. Okay. All right. Great. Great. Awesome. Awesome. All this right. is my presentation. <laughs> <laughs> that is your 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 background, right? My background. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Like the teacher background, English incorporativo. <laughs> I used to I used to be able to to put different backgrounds, right? While back, but uh, now we can't. We have to use the same format. Yeah. <laughs> I used to put like backgrounds where movements and water and, and waterfalls and the all relaxing yeah so i used to like on fridays i would change the screen and i would put like the the night of dallas right in the united states dallas yeah. texas or, <laughs> or somewhere else the other parts of the world in greece different parts but i can't do that anymore <laughs> well no one can now right <laughs> no one can but yeah is is it used to change i used to look at it as a change of mood right or mm -hmm. i'll put the, the river flowing like this and the water moving when it will be a rainy day or something <laughs> but okay uh, i it was an option or it, it was zoom or what it was it wasn't a requirement so i would do it because i could right some people didn't have the capacity in their computer right but the the administration didn't um, didn't say anything, but now they they made it to where we have to put this in the back, all right? So yeah, no, <laughs> yeah, we cannot put all that, <laughs> yeah, all that anymore. So that is a a require a rule, right? So, any more? <laughs> so how you, how you used to do it? You download the image? Yes, I will go in 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 the platform for Zoom, and. Not in Zoom, in Zoom, but you can go online and look for uh, backgrounds for Zoom meetings in movement, where you have movement or the Earth moving like this in space, a meteor flying by, stuff like that, right? And it was just, but I can't do that anymore. Background for what? For, uh, for Zoom meetings. For Zoom video conferences. I'm going to look for it. <laughs> uh, and then you can look for some in, in uh, moving. You can probably put some in movement, que se muevan in the back. I would, I could, I could do it here and show you, but I can't, right? <laughs> if I put it here, they're gonna call Henry. Why did you put a background, right? You're not supposed. What to are you doing? <laughs> yeah, what are you doing, Henry? Right? Since they, you are the teacher. <laughs> yeah, like, we can't do that anymore, right? You, you cannot. <laughs> But you can probably look. I don't know if you found some, Alvin. But no, you haven't found any. It, it, they're like, I'm I'm searching. I'm, they're like real hidden. No, it's like I had to search for them, like in real deep in the internet. But how do you do it for downloading? Okay, in, you in go what to, format? You uh, uh, I would do it in PNG. PNG. Ah, okay. PNG, PNG, yes. Uh -huh. 
Right? Because the GIF y otros, no, Zoom no los acepta. Yeah. So you have to go and convert. Uh, some images, you have to convert them. Right? You have to convert them. So, it's like, you have to use another... Uh, or GP, JPG also, right? You, like, so you have to save as a PNG document? Yes, or PNG. If it is not available? You have to go and, and find something online that will convert. Oh, okay. That will convert it. I'm going to show you something here. Do you see this right here? Yeah. Convert convert to JP like this type of things right you Jesus. have to you have to go find some that say J, uh, uh, different formats right you convert it and you do it here selection archive right and you will change it from JFIF to JPG JPG or okay. you have different different options let me see. Okay, thank you. All right. Are y'all finished though? Y'all ready? Yeah. Okay. Here we're in about one minute. We're going back to the main session. Okay. okay. Pass me, please. Let's see, hello. The break room. Hello, oh, teacher. Uh -huh. I'm sorry, I have problems. Okay, Blanca, <laughs> you're you're in two, right? And Glenda, you're in five, five right? Yes. yes. All right. Hi, teacher. Sorry, I'm going to to the breaker room <laughs> okay i sent you let me okay. see you already there blanca hello glenda what did you My, okay thank you le salió allí glenda yes glenda all right Well, hello, Juan Jose, Doris, Janari. Hello, teacher. All right, are y'all almost ready? Yes. Yes. Okay, great. In about one more minute, we can go to the main session so you can begin, okay? Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay, well, hello, okay. Miguel, Rolando, Carlos. Hello. Are you ready? Yes, um, teacher. Okay. We don't have a we don't have a, a presentation, but we talk about our examples. Okay, yeah. great, no problem. That's awesome. All right, okay. we're going back to the main session. Okay, okay. very nice. Okay. Okay, welcome back everyone. I hope you are ready. So, let me get my notebook. I guess so, teacher. <laughs> All right. So, uh, at least you're getting the hang of the breakout rooms, huh, Thelma? Huh? You see? Very good, you see? Well, more or less, teacher. Yeah, more or less. I told you like one, yeah. two or three more times, and you're gonna be like, "Yeah, this is nice, right?" You're gonna, you're gonna okay. be. 
it's all about practice, right? Learn new things every day, everyone, right? So I'm glad, I'm glad, uh, I'm glad you got to see this, Thelma. That way you can see how things work online and how Zoom works, right? So, um, for everyone else, are you ready? Um, group number one, okay. Group number one, who is going to speak for your group? Group number one, Francisco, Neftali, and Thelma. Okay. Okay. Right now? Mm hmm Yes. Okay, okay. Neftali? Hello, Neftali, are you here? Good, Alma. All right. Francisco? <laughs> you ready? Ready. Okay, who is going to go first? I tried. Okay. Mm. Hello. Uh -huh. Yes. Hello, hello. Who's going first? Francisco, Telma, or Neftali? Mm. Telma. As you like. Okay. Telma. Okay, Telma. Okay, thank you. Ladies thank first, you. right? Ladies first. Okay. Right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Telma, okay. it's all yours. Okay. Good evening, guys and teachers. Um, I'm going to talk. We talk. We we going to talk about the um, about the company that uh, sells product and in indirect, in direct and indirect form. We we were searching for companies. And let me see. Especially in El Salvador, we have and first Pizza Hut, for example. Uh, Pizza Hut is a company make and sells food directly and uh, to consumer when people arrive the restaurant also sell food in direct form when people uh, buy delivery. Um, I would like to invite Neftali. Yeah, Neftali explain, please. The second company. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very good, Thelma. Please. Very good, all right. You included Pizza Hut, right? Very good. Okay. Okay, I'm going to explain another company that sells directly to customers. That is of ice cream. Because they made the ice cream and they sell directly to the customers, to the consumers. Mm -hmm. And... And one company for indirect selling is Bimbo Bread. Which one? Because they Bimbo Bread. Okay. Because they sell their, their product to different markets or supermarkets or source stores. They do not sell directly to customers. They sell them through another store. And Francisco is going to explain you the last. Okay, great. Francisco, good okay, job, Natalie. Okay, I tried. Uh, uh, Telma, Neftali, and me, we talk about the different companies. I select, for example, in this case, uh, Alpina. Alpina is a, is a company that, that they have to service. Uh, they they sold uh, directly and indirectly. Uh, for example, uh, they have maybe association with the supermarkets or other store for sold the, the, the its products. 
uh, in different presentation of border of water. Uh, maybe I we talk about with uh, Deftali and Thelma. For example, they saw the water directly because in my job, um, I do not remember the, 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 the old time that the company uh, by the border of water Lopina, but they um, delivered the, 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 the product in the company all days around uh, 1,000 of border of water every day. And for this reason, I think that the company have two service, a direct and indirect service. Okay. All of that. Okay, excellent. All right, very good, very good. Thank you, group one. Perfect, well done. Thank good you, companies, good explanations, very good, very good. Group number two. Good evening. Alvin. Okay. I'm going to start with the direct, with the direct selling companies. Well, actually, in our group, the first company with that we choose is Avon. Okay. Avon Product Inc. is a, is a Inc. in American direct selling and manufacturer company in household, beauty, and personal care categories. This large direct selling company was founded in 1886 by David H. McConnell. Its headquarters of the company is located in New York City, United States. Avon offers various products such as toys, cosmetic products, clothing, and perfumes. And the other company that's direct that we choose is, let me see. It's Anway. Also, Anway is an, an American direct selling company founded on November 9, 1959 by Richard DeVos and J. Ben Endel. Its headquarters is in Ada, Michigan, United States. It is a multi-level marketing company that sells beauty and health and home care products. All right. And the other person that would continue, it's Albin. Okay, very good. Thank you, Freddy. Great job. Alvin. Hello. Okay. Uh -huh. All right. Yeah, welcome. Uh, I'm going to talk about a company uh, named Aceptia. You can see in my virtual background. Aceptia Inc. is an American indirect selling company. Aceptia produces processed food products. Uh, the company offers fruit sauces, tomato products, vegetable soups, and beverage. And they are based and operate in North Carolina, United States. Uh, the company and the North Carolina State University Department of Food and Bioprocessing and Nutrition Science received the 2015 Food Technology Industrial Achievement Award for the development of commercialization of a new generation of self-stable products using microwave system and septic processing. And the thing that they do is that they supply the stores and other businesses so the consumer can take you from a market or a retailer. All right, all right, very good, very good. Aceptia, right? All Aceptia. right, great, very good. Anyone else in your group? Is that it? Yes, me, teacher. Okay, Jackie. Um, well, in my case, I'm going to talk about a brand, Listerine. Listerine is a mouthwash. Um, the company that sells uh, this kind of product is Johnson & Johnson, <laughs> a global company that uh, they distribute their, their products in an in, uh, indirect channel. 
They sell products to personal care, also vaccines, well, a lot of products. And you can find them in pharmacy, market, and supermarkets, yeah. And well, that's it. Okay, very About good. About list training. Okay. And all the, the products that they sell or produce. Mm-hmm. All right. Great. Listerine, right? Listerine. Very strong. Very strong. Very strong. <clears throat> strong, right? Well, great job, Alvin, and great job, Jackie. Well done. Uh, Blanca. Hey, I'm the last one. I'm going to talk about another direct cell that is Herbalife. Uh, if you know Herbalife, it's a company of a uh, multinational uh, that it's uh, that develops or the cells. It's the weight management, nutrition, supplement, personal care products, and it's sports products. I, I think you know about that. <laughs> uh, but the company is one of the biggest companies with direct selling in the world. They have a business operation in more than 95 countries through uh, 3.2 million independent distributors. Distributors. So it's a bigger, it's a big company. That's okay. another, okay. All right, Blanca, well, thank you. Good job, good job, excellent. So we have Herbalife, Aception, right? Avon and Amway, Listerine and then Johnson and Johnson there, right? Very good, very good. I'm taking notes of, of all the companies you mentioned, right? So I'm, I'm writing it down here in my notebook, as you can see. Good job, everyone, group two, well done. Okay, group number three, Doris, Juan Jose, and Janari. Okay, teacher, I'm talking about, uh, about indirectly, indirectly uh, UAP. I think uh, that UAP is uh, indirectly because they uh, provide the uh, service uh, about uh, many products uh, like food, like supermarket, uh, and they provide all kind of product or service uh, for the final consumer. Uh, I think it's indirectly. Okay, great, great. Awesome. All right, Hugo. Very good. Thank you, Yanari. Well done. Thank you, too. All right, next. Anyone else in the group? Hello. Yeah. I see... Okay. In the, in, yes. In, in, I think the uh, the product uh, uh, sells uh, in store is a uh, computers, shoes, clothes, uh, articles of different. Forms uh, uh, like a um, store, uh, Simán, uh, Prisma Moda, Curacao, sells indirect uh, uh, products, uh, the other companies. Okay. All yes, right. only. All right, great. Okay, so you mentioned some like Simon, right? Prima Moda, Curacao, those that you mentioned. And... Okay, great, great. Next one. Okay, Next uh, indi job, indirectly, bro. indirectly product, for example, it is uh, the La Constancia uh, that say it, um, that sells a uh, beer to another uh, <laughs> store <laughs> or 
mall, for example, <laughs> or, or, or other kind of store, yeah. and uh, maybe uh, near from our house, <laughs> another little store. Um, they are a um, retailer for the consumer. And the Constancia is a uh, sales indirectly product. Okay, great, great. All right, so we have a lot of indirect here. Very good, good job, uh, uh, group number three. Excellent, well done, good examples. All right, let's go to, thank you, Juan Jose, well done. Let's go to the group number four, Carlos, Miguel, and Rolando. Yes, yeah, for example, uh, I can begin in with the direct product. Okay, direct. Okay, for example, uh, because I understand that the direct product, direct channels, excuse me, direct channels. <laughs> okay, I think the I understand when one direct channel is when the uh, with the store, for example, sell directly to the customer, the final customer. That is correct. Okay. Yeah, for example, we were talking about, for example, a gas station Texaco. Okay. Because uh, you go there and when they bring the gas, you have to, to pay for that there. And other example that we were talking is, for example, uh, El Diario de Hoy. El Diario de Hoy. Okay, so what is one example? That is one example, all right. Yeah, yeah, with the subscriptions. Okay, very good, very good. Excellent, excellent. Okay. Yeah. Rolando or Miguel, thank you, okay. Carlos, well done. Okay, teacher. Uh, good evening, guys. Good evening, teachers. Again, uh, in our group, we're talking about a, a indirectly channel. For example, we're talking about some companies. Um, the first company we're talking about is Boquitas Diana. <laughs> um, yes, <laughs> Boquitas Diana uh, is a producer or is a producer that his product is distributors distributor in a small store, for example, in supermarkets. Um, another another uh, indirectly uh, company is Walmart because Walmart received different uh, brands about um, um, food, um, um, and other uh, in, in different departments. Uh, another company is um, Pollo Indio, for example. Pollo, Pollo Indio prepare his, uh, his chickens and then send a uh, different supermarket or places. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. this is uh, about talking uh, teacher Orlando, okay. can you el dia explain? Yeah, el, diari el diario de hoy have the boat system, so the boat uh, distribution channel, because uh, we have a direct direct channel because we have the the the, sus the subscription, the subscrip the subscribers, yeah, mm -hmm. and, and we send the, the newspaper directly to the subscribers, yeah, and we have the another way that uh, we have the consigners, yeah? And they uh, take the, the newspaper and get to the canillitas. I don't know how to say canillitas in English. Uh, I don't even know what that is, canillita. Yeah, <laughs> but it's, yeah, and you go to the canillitas and, and buy the newspaper. Yeah, and this is not direct, it's, it's an indirect because it's another person, it's another, um, Another uh, people, this uh, place that you do you, you receive the newspaper. In another company, 
that have a direct channel is Oyo Campero. That you go to the restaurant and you order the, the, the menu and you eat directly <laughs> to, the, to the company. This is our opinion. Okay, very good, very good, excellent. All right, so you have like Pollo Campero, Pollo Indio, Taco, Taco, Diario de Hoy, right? Very good, very good examples. Great job, uh, group number four. Well done. Orlando. All right. Yes. Orlando, yeah, I don't know ah. what that means, so I couldn't translate it. Uh, Canillitas. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. Canillitas is the person, for example, uh, the consigners are the person are the person that received the newspaper the uh, big quantity of newspaper yeah and some people or many people uh, uh, one by one go to the consigners and receive a little quantity of newspaper and then they go to the street to the park whatever and you go when your cars or uh, work and ask for the newspaper and they sell the newspaper for you this is the canillitas okay they're like the the last it's a single yes yeah, a single yeah, it's like retail it's like like the last of the chain right the last yeah, of the chain the one that sells in the street individually yeah in the, in the in the process they are the final yeah. person that you yeah. can you can find to receive the newspaper they're like the final distribution channel that's it yeah. Orlando, yes, Orlando. yes. Uh, i don't know i don't remember if canillitas is called it because uh, sometime uh, it was it were um, children's that distributed the uh, news. I don't remember uh, if or that. When when my father, sometime my father told me that he was a canillita. Yeah, and oh, when, so that's why when he, canillita. But there are children. <laughs> but there are children. Yeah, uh, they are. They are. There was children. Okay. Yes. When yeah, when when he has these uh, employees, he was a child. But I don't know if if the um, the meaning of canillitas is for that reason. So I used to be a canillitas in the United States. <laughs> <laughs> really? Well, the candies too. Yeah, I used to go knocking the doors and see if <laughs> anyone want to buy uh, the newspaper. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, well, that, nice. that is a uh, great input, right? I didn't know. To be honest with you, I didn't know what canillitas or anything like that. But now that you mention it, and Juan Jose gave a little feedback, and then Freddy's added a little bit more too, right? I I, so, I remember that in here in Salvador there was a uh, candies uh, canillitas. Mm. Ah, okay. yeah, <laughs> but I, I, I know that the, this term, terms is for person to sell newspaper oh, because, okay. because they normally, many years ago, this person walk many, many distance with the newspaper yeah, and sell the newspaper. Yes. I All guess right. that this is the reason. Okay, Rolando, well, that was a great, great explanation. And uh, thank you for sharing that with the class. And thank you, Freddy and Juan Jose, to add a little bit more to it. And great experience, right? Great experience here speaking, right? You're welcome. All right, welcome. very good, very good, excellent. Now, finally, with the last group, which is Glenda, Iris, and Jarvin, what can you share? Okay. Um, good night, everyone. everyone. And I'm going to mention two products and the company that we consider sold through a direct, direct channel. The first example is Huevos La Catalana. Okay. Okay. Huevos La Catalana or Catalana X. Eggs. Catala, Catalana X. Eh, Catalana produce the eggs on her farm and they prepare them 
and different presentations and sales directly to consumers at better price. However, uh, this company also used the, the indirect sales of the eggs. Generally, is a true supermarket, for example. And the second example is La Neveria. Uh, La Neveria sells uh, ice cream and pop cycles. And this, um, this entity is sales and uh, these products directly to the consumers. Uh, Jarvin will continue with the indirect channel product. Okay, great, great job. Very good, very good. Brenda. Okay, good evening, everyone. I will talk about the indirect channel. And we are talking about that and was a little bit easier because when you are talking about indirect channel sales, you can bring in your mind that the most famous product because the most famous product are making in another place and they have a lot of a store that you can get the product. For example, we choose the clothes that for example, we have the, the Columbia clothes. They have a lot of textile factory doing their clothes and they sold in another, in a lot of a store. For example, in Sima that, that my, my, my partner says and another store. And for example, Bimbo, Bimbo has their, their own factory, then they do the, the, the break and they sell in a dollar, in a lot of a store. For example, you can, you can get in a, in a supermarket or, or in a little store. And for example, we are talking about the famous shoes and Converse, Puma, they have their, their own factory and they sell in the in another store and you can get the product easier. All right, all right, great, awesome. Jarvin, well done. Okay, good job, good job. Uh, Iris, are you going to say something or? Yes, uh, for Neveria brand, they market, they market their products when they sell their franchises, franchises and they give the freezers and products to supermarkets and stores. And this way the customer or final customer uh, can buy and enjoy their, their products. Okay, great, awesome. Good job, it is Glenda and Jarvin, good job, group number five. Perfect, good job, everyone. Thank Excellent. You, All right. Maybe you can, um, we can go back here. Okay, so that was just a, an activity in, um, in breakout rooms, as, as you notice, in groups, right? In groups, so you can interact with one another and be able to communicate and share ideas, not just your ideas, but your other classmates' ideas as well. Okay, so that, that was a little group activity. And then we are going to continue with the module. This gives you, when you do oral presentations, when you give your own ideas, the concept of indirect, indirect channels of distribution become easier to understand. When you participate on your own behalf, using your own critical thinking ideas, right? I think now you understand what direct and indirect channels of distribution are, and we will proceed with the uh, next pages of your uh, book, of your module. But first, let me take the second attendance, and then we'll work on page 10 and page 11, and we are also going to do some reading activities in relation to direct and indirect channels of distribution. Okay, Abigail. Abigail. Present. Okay, welcome. Let me see, Blanca. Present. All right, thank you. 
Brenda, Sherry, Carlos, Carlos. Okay, thank you. All right, thank you, Carlos. Doris. Present. Okay, thank you. Edwin. Edwin. Okay. Francisco. Present teacher. All right, awesome. Relis. All right, thank you. Glenda. Present teacher. All right. Thank you. Iris. Present. Great. Jackie. I'm here. All right, awesome. Jarvin. Present teacher. Great. Jennifer. Jennifer. Okay, got here. Juan Jose. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Carla Margarita. Still not here. Huh? Okay, Miguel. I'm here, teacher. Okay, great. Neftali. Present. Okay, awesome. Rolando. I'm here. All right. Thelma. Okay. Present teacher. Okay, no problem. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> no problem. Janari? I'm here. All right, great. And let me see. Alvin. Present. All right, great. Awesome. Okay, class, let's continue with our module. Okay, so we did this and what I'm going to do is <clears throat> I'm going to call on some of you Everyone is going to read. I want to hear you read, so be ready when I call on you. You're going to read, and then I'm going to ask you to stop. For example, if I tell you, okay, thank you, that means stop, please. All right, let's begin with Neftali. Read the topic, please. Indirect selling, the challenge of channels. Channels provide reach. Channel could be an improvement store or direct representative. In either case, the manufacturer is putting their livelihood. Okay, livelihood. Livelihood. Livelihood in the hands of a third party who has access to the customer. Okay, who has access. Has access. Very good to the customer, right? Very good, very good, Neftali. Now, here channels that provide reach, reach, el alcance, right? Of those channels that reach the consumer, um, in, in other words, the consumer or the customer, right? So these channels could be a home improvement store, but what they're doing is they're putting the product on, on their hands in a third party, like you were saying earlier, different uh, different scenarios, different stores, and they have access to the customer, right? For example, some people mention CMA, some people mention other stores where they have access to the customer, where the main manufacturer or the per or the company that designs the product doesn't, right? For example, companies from overseas or from from China or the United States, they do not come here directly and sell, right? But they have intermediaries or other retailers that put it, put their trust into them so they can sell the product here. So they can sell the product here. Okay, let's continue, please. Thelma. Okay, teacher. Channels know local market. They know the local customs have established relationships and know how to adapt products to meet the needs of local business. Businesses. They, businesses. 
Excellent. They have already established trust in the market. Very good. So here, channels, when we're talking about channels, we're talking about that distribution, right? They know the local market. They know it. So when the product comes in, they know what to sell and what not to sell, right? For example, you have areas that you cannot sell a Mercedes Benz, right? Like if they put a place where they're going to sell a Mercedes Benz in an area that a lot of people are not making enough money, that would be illogical, right? So they know the market, they know the, the, the sector, they know the geographics, right? So that is very important when we talk about channels of distribution, right? Or you have places that they establish a trust, trust. How many places or stores have you been que uno dice, esa tienda es confiable. You can trust that store. Ha estado ahí por 40 años, right? It's been there for 40 years. Our parents, our grandparents used to go there, right? And they continue to be there because they have established trust within the community, all right? That's what we're talking about here as far as local markets. Let's continue with the challenges, right? What is challenges? ¿Qué quiere decir challenges? What is challenges? Desafíos. Desafíos o retos, right? Very good. Thank you, Juan José. Very good. So, go ahead, Juan José, and you mention it. Please read, please. Channel challenges. The first paragraph. Okay. Excuse me. I'm going to make a big, uh, channel. Channel challenges. Yes. Hold on. Okay. Uh, when you go through a sales channel, you're making a conscious conscious decision to have someone else take responsibility for selling your product or service. You don't have to incur the labor cost, but you will give up, give up margin. Margin, margin. 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 Okay. Very good. Excellent. Thank you, Juan Jose. Thank you. So here are some of the challenges, right? And this is for anyone that would like to establish their own business or their own enterprise or or any type of any type of place where you're going to sell a product or service right here is is basically talking about okay you have to make a conscious decision you have to be like okay are you ready to give up some of your product to someone else and have them sell it for you for example someone mentioned el diario de hoy right i think it was rolando right uh, that's another example here right they give to other people to sell in the street so they don't have to incur incur the labor cost what does incur mean incur incurrir yes very good right el, el costo de labor right in other words they don't ha they don't have to pay a worker to be in the company, they just give it to someone and say, okay, go sell it. And then you, agarra this person más, you get 10 more people to sell el diario de hoy, and that's how you, you take care of that, and you just pay me, right? I don't have to worry about paying them. You just pay me, and I give you the product. Okay, let's continue, please. Alvin, next paragraph. Where there is potential overlap, you'll find channel conflict. You might give a partner at a specific territory. Mm, territory. Ter territory. Let's say Arizona. Then another partner who has New Jersey, has a client who also has an office in Arizona. Ah, you see. So you have a little bit of conflict here, right? For example, Alvin just read this, right? This is potential overlap. Potential overlap. Let me give you a brief elaboration of what this means. For example, Alvin, right? Let's say me, I work, me and Alvin work together, right? And I tell Alvin, okay, Alvin is in San Vicente, right? And I'm in Santa Tecla, right? We're in two different parts of El Salvador, but I want to sell the product in his area, right? So I tell him, you know what? I want you to sell this product in San Vicente. Right? So I'm like, yeah, nadie más vende este producto, right? Nobody else sells this product. It's going to sell it, right? And then um, Neftali comes, right? And I tell Neftali, okay, Neftali, 
here, sell this product in Las Cabañas. And he's like, yeah, nobody has this product here. It's new. But then, de repente, all of a sudden, I sell to another person, for example, Juan Jose, right? So I get Juan Jose and I give Juan Jose, but Juan Jose goes to Las Cabañas in San Vicente. So he's taking away the market from, from Alvin and Neftali, right? Because Neftali was by himself selling a product. Now he has like Juan Jose as a competitor, right? So he's losing a lot of the business con el mismo producto mío, with the same product, right? That is called potential overlap overlap right that's what that means okay let's continue with the next paragraph um who wants to read the next one that hasn't read get a second who wants to continue hey, teacher. okay it is <laughs> <laughs> and then abigail go ahead it is sorry most child partners don't not do not exclusively carry just one company's products Instead, the way channel partner success is often by selling multiple products in a single visit. Very good, right? So what does this mean? ¿Qué significa? What does this mean, right? Basically, what he's saying is a lot of, these are some of the challenges, right? Like I was talking about a product earlier, like selling to, giving the product to Juan Jose, Alvin, and Eftali, right? To go sell on other parts. But then another company comes and might give another product to Alvin, Juan Jose, and Eftali, right? Un producto diferente. So now they are selling not just my product, but another person's product. For example, I might sell Samsung, and then I might sell iPhone, and I might sell another product and another product, right? So I don't just stay with one. I have a diverse, so a lot of partners, do not carry just one product. They carry a variety. So that causes a little bit of challenges, right? For a certain company say, no, ¿por qué vende no más de ellos? ¿Por qué no vende lo mío, right? It's that there's a little bit of conflict, right? That's what he's referring to here. Now, let's continue with um, Abigail. Satisfying customers' extraordinary needs. Every distribution channel occasionally faces unexpected or unusual demands. Companies that have been most successful in redesigning re, their distribution. Re, re, redesigning. In redesigning their distribution channels are strongly committed to experimentation. Very good. Excellent. So here we're talking about satisfaction, satisfaction, right? Now, how do you, you as a, as a distributor, as a retailer, or just as an individual, how are you going to meet the customer's um, needs? For example, have you ever had, or maybe you yourself, have you ever critique a company? ¿A usted uh, ha criticado alguna empresa usted? Have you ever critiqued a company informally or formally? Anyone? Like maybe give your opinion, say, you're not, you're not satisfying my needs. No están satisfaciendo mis necesidades como empresa. Have you ever felt that way? ¿Se han sentido alguna vez así? This is what he's referring to here, right? Sometimes the main company doesn't know what the wholesaler or the distributor is doing with their product, right? The big company probably thinking, yeah, they're selling the product, but sometimes they're doing a bad service and maybe giving a bad name to themselves, but also giving a bad name to the brand, right? For example, if a company sells hush puppies, right? Hush puppies. Algunos de ustedes han comprado, visto hush puppies? The shoes, they're very comfortable, right? I, I, I normally buy hush puppies when I would do classes in person, right? When I'm teaching in class, I like to have hush puppies because they're very comfortable, but they're very expensive, right? But the quality, but what would happen if I go to hush puppies and they give me a bad service? They're not, they're not giving up. They're also giving a bad service to themselves, but also to the brand, right? 
to the brand name. So that is important, right? The unexpected demands that we have. Alvin, you're shaking your head like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me an example, Alvin. Have you ever critiqued a store and give us an example? I know you yeah. have. Be honest. Yeah, one day I went with my family and I to go and, I, to go and, and eat an ice cream at Boston. Ah. And I receive a very bad a service. Yeah, a very bad service because the cashier was like angry with herself, but I don't know why she <laughs> treated us very bad. It took it out so on it, you, it, right? It, yeah, it was weird, but but I don't know. I, I look at her and, and I figure out that she was like a threw into a very bad moment. Exactly, right? So uh, sometimes we face those those dilemmas. Yeah. In business in the business sector in the economy right and sometimes that's why a lot of companies when they get a lot of complaints they either change distribution channels right you're not going to sell the product for us anymore we're going to change with this other company right because you're doing a bad job you're doing a bad service and you're hurting the image of the company right so it happens, right? I yeah. it happens, right? Okay, great. Thank you for your input. Thank you for your input. And anyone else that would like to share their experience, please feel free. Mm -hmm. If you would like to share an experience where you felt the your satisfaction demand from that met, please feel free to to express yourself. All right. If not, then you're still going to do it <laughs> of the next part, all right? Can you read, please, Janari, right? All right, can you read, please, right here? It's your turn. Yeah, Which it's, channel it's do your you turn. see? <laughs> Which channels do you see doing a great job of working with their partners? Where do you see disasters? Ah, very good, right? So now it's your turn. right? I'm going to put you back in breakout rooms and I want you to discuss this. Which channels do you see doing a great job that you're like, hey, that's the plan, all right? They're, they're doing an awesome job. Or where do you see disasters? Alvin, right? Boston, right? <laughs> where do you see disasters? And please, please, everyone, let's be honest. Everyone here, including myself, have had some good times and some bad times, all right? I've had good times with places where people say, oh, it's bad there, and they treated me good. And I've had places where, oh, it's a great place to go, te lo recomiendo, go there, right? Y voy, boom, right? It's total disaster, right? Tell me, but don't tell me. Tell your classmates, tell your peers, talk amongst yourself, and share your ideas. We're going to do speaking only do not write this is only speaking activity your turn right here this is the these are the two questions positive and negative All right when we finish this we're going to work on this page and we're going to do this page of your book all right so i'm going to <clears throat> put you in breakout rooms this is going to be uh maybe five to eight minute speaking activity okay let me see i'm going to share this to the group so you can start thinking about some great times and bad times that you've had like uh, alvin mentioned his experience let me share this to the group All right, there it is. I'm going to put you in breakout rooms. You can share the screen if you like. I'm going to recreate. All right.
Okay, you ready? One, two, three.
Okay, welcome back, everyone. Hope you got to speak with your fellow classmates and express your ideas. All right. Now, we are going to continue with, let me close this. All right. Okay, so you just did this part, the speaking activity, and let's go to to your book on page 10, all right, page 10. You have here the distribution channel, which is the topic, and you have three boxes, right? You have distribution channels for consumer products. So these all end up in the consumer, right, or the customer. They all end up to the customer. But you have direct channel, and then you have different channels, retail channel and wholesale channels. Now, these are like indirect, right? We were talking about that earlier, indirect. But here they have it where they have a wholesale or distributor to a retailer and then to the consumer. You have producer, retailer, and consumer. Remember that retail stores are like the small stores, right? Las tiendas pequeñas, retail store, where they just sell a product directly to the consumer. So it goes from the producer to the retailer, to the consumer, and here, producer to consumer, like some of you were talking about earlier, directly from, from the company, like Pollo Campero, right? You can go to Pollo Campero and eat there. That's straight direct direct but imagine imagine other products that sometimes they go through one or two different intermediaries where they go from the producer to a wholesale like um what could be a wholesale place um, how many of you have bought online han comprado como uh, aliexpress or anything like that Anyone? Just me, teacher. Okay, right. So you're buying from a wholesale or a, right because they sell, they they buy products from other companies and then they sell them in their place to sell to you, right? And you can buy a hundred, two hundred pieces of of items, and they ship it, right? They ship it to the consumer, right? Or sometimes they go to the retailer and then the retailer to the consumer. Now, you have here six questions, okay, six questions. Now, remember, when we talk about, let me, let me get this going. When you talk about things like this, buying products from different manufacturers different manufacturers like this one from other manufacturers number five and number two we're talking about wholesale okay wholesale when we talk about buying products from different manufacturers and sale in the stores like number I ikea right we don't have this company here this is in the united states Right, so if you probably say teacher, que es esto, right? Eh, it's almost like saying EPA. Have you ever heard EPA? All right, it's similar, yeah, right? Just the All right. Process. Yeah, all right. So we have something like this called I K E A, right? IKEA, right? Similar. If you see a story like this, and then you also have Gap. Gap. Gap is probably saying what? It's another store. It's a Yama. Gap. It's like similar, like I mentioned earlier, EPA, right? You have Gap. Well, Gap is a clothes company. Yeah, it's a clothing store, right? It's a yeah. clothing store. But what I'm saying is the initials, Gap. Yeah. Like EPA, right? Gap, right? It's not like a name where you, where you say like Radio Shack or, or Foley's or Sears, right? Yes. You just hear like different just letters, right? Gap, yeah. Ikea, right? Yes, the Gap is, uh, they sell clothing store, right? It was very famous in the 90s, in 2000, right? And it probably still is. But um, they sell a lot of uh, 
clothes for youngsters, right? Or hip hop or up to date clothing. Now, number two and number five are automatically wholesale, right? Because we're talking about um, manufacturers here, right? We're talking about wholesale. So number two and number five will be wholesale. So I'm giving you those two already, the answers. I want you to look at number one, three, four, and six. Okay, over here, number two and number five are wholesale. Now, what are you going to put there? You're going to, give me this. And you're going to decide whether it's direct, retail, or wholesale, right? Those are your options. Those are your only two options. Remember, two is um, wholesale. Yeah. Right? Number five is wholesale. And number, yeah, exactly, right? All right. So that means for number one, three, four, and six, you're going to decide if it's Retail or direct? Retail or direct? Esas son las únicas opciones que les quedan. Right? Direct or retail? Ah. In my opinion, number one is direct. Okay. Number direct one. channel. Okay, direct. Very good. Very right. good, excellent. Number one would be direct. Number two, when we talk about manufacturers like Ikea and Gap, those are wholesale. Those are wholesale. And have you ever shopped there, Freddy's? Have you ever bought clothes at the Gap? Yeah. All right, very good, very good. Even uh, I have bought two of um, Old Navy. The Old Navy, right? This used to sell like clothes there, Old Navy, Pepe. I think the third one is retail channel. Very good, excellent. Retail, that is correct. And the fourth, it's direct. Number four yeah. is direct, excellent, that is correct. The last one, <laughs> retail. All right, number number six will be retail. retail. Perfect, very good, excellent. Those are the answers, okay? Just done. There they go right there. All the way to six, right? All the way to six. Those are your answers. So you can write them in your notebook, in your book. Sorry, in your book. And we are going to do um, the next page, which is page 11. Right? Page 11. Here is basically a conversation. And you're going to answer three questions. You're going to answer three questions on the next page, page 11. All right, we will proceed. Everyone finish with the answers. Everyone finish, nobody needs them. I will erase them. Okay. Teacher. Let's go to... Yes. What happened when when Ready. when other company uh, request the service the other company? When a company re, we then you were you will be talking about a wholesale channel. Ah, okay. Okay. All right. Thank you for asking. All right. Let me see. Next one. Page 11. Here is just a reading conversation, and you have three small questions that you are going to answer. Can you read, please? Um, Miguel. Okay, I will be able to decide on the most appropriate distribution channel for a product by based on the information from a ma matrix analysis. Okay, matrix, matrix. Matrix, matrix. Very, very good, remember, based, based. Based, based. Right. 
Very good. Excellent. Excellent. Good okay. job. Continue, please, Miguel. You're doing great. Okay. Let's start. Which products need a faster distribution speed? What distribution method is your competition using? Competition. Competition. Competition using. Very good, right? So here is asking in case you have a company, right? And what distribution methods is your competition using, right? A lot of companies, I don't know if any of you have a company or have worked in a company or are CEOs in a company. You always have a competition, right? You will always have one, right? No matter what you do, there's always going to be competitors. But remember that sometimes it's how well you distribute your product and your methods to the customer and that depends on the success of your company or your brand or your product and let's continue please Blanca can you read thank you uh, Miguel Ed and Philip are discussing the sales of their ice cream take turns practicing the conversation with a partner all right, very good. So we're going to practice this conversation and it's going to be um, Jackie and Glenda. Jackie, can you begin, please? Okay. And the business is going well. I never thought our ice cream will sell like this. Okay. Glenda? Glenda? One, two. I'm here. Teacher. Okay. I'm you... here. I'm here. Okay. Can you continue, please? Puede continuar, por favor? Where? Mm -hmm. Can someone tell Glenda dónde estamos? Can someone tell Glenda? In the, in the, conversation, the conversation, you are Philip. Ah, okay, thank you. Yeah, the bug is always packed with people. We have to set our own ice cream shop. Very good. We don't know anything about running our own store. Let's ask the manager at the ice cream shop downtown. Certainly, he will want to buy our incredible ice cream. All right, very good, right? <laughs> Certainly, right? Certainly. Now you can say this word certainly. certainly or certainly. You can say in both ways. All right. And Thank you. Very good. Very good. So we're talking about ice cream here, right? We're talking about this Ed and Philip talking about, you know, ice cream and, and see if they can uh, get someone to buy their ice cream in, in downtown, right? Now, Look at question number one, two, and three. It says, read the conversation again and answer the questions. What channel of district? No, you're not, I'm not going to read it. Um, Fran uh, Francisco, can you read number one, please? Yes. What channel of distribution is feeling suggest Fill up. suggesting? Fill up. Philip, is Philip suggesting? Very good, excellent. No, excellent. Number two, Juan Jose. Okay, do Ed and Philips know how to run a store? Okay, very good. Uh, Rolando, number three. Do you think Philip's suggestion will help the business grow? All right, will help the business grow, right? Very good. Very good, Orlando. Those are three questions you have. This is individual work. I want you to send it to me. I want you to send me your answers to me with your name. All right. Um, one, two, and three. You have five minutes.
Okay, I will uh, I will label this as in class activity number three. Remember for number three, number three is your own, your own answer, okay? There isn't a correct and wrong answer. This is your opinion. This is your opinion. And number three is your own opinion. No va a estar aquí. It's not going to be in the, in the conversation. This is your opinion. Okay, Doris. Doris. Hello. Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you for finishing this activity. Thank you. Okay. I can grade it right now. Okay, Abigail. Thank you. Okay, Alvin. Great job, Alvin. All right. Just remember that our number one is asking for the distribution, right? What type of distribution? You gave the store, but it's, I will accept that answer also. Is it direct or indirect? Aha, all right. What channel of distribution, right? But I will accept it. This is a very good answer. All right. Okay, Carlos. Great job, Carlos. Remember, our number one is asking for what type of distribution channel, right? Is it direct or indirect? But if you give me something in relation to having their own shop or their own place to sell the ice cream, I would also accept that answer. So very good. Okay, I will I will check the rest when we 
finish the class right here. I will send it to you before 12. Don't worry about that. I will look at it and I'm writing your names down. Eh, lo que me tragaron esta actividad. I have your names here. So thank you for doing this activity number three, in class activity, right? So this just shows your activeness participation in the class, okay? This is all, there's no right or wrong answers. Esto nomás es la participación de clase, right? Your active participation. So I take that into account. I take that into account. Okay, class, tomorrow we will do the rest of the pages. Tomorrow we're going to do a little bit of, um, a little bit of grammar, all right? Sure. Yes, sir. But, but I would like to know if I write, uh, well, my answer that I send you. Ah, I haven't checked it yet. Yes, because um, I write, but I'm not sure if it's yes. correct. Oh, if you if you, my if you make a mistake in the in any writing, I will correct it for you also. Okay, thank you. Okay, yeah, yeah, no problem. I always do that. All right. If I see any mistakes, okay. I always correct it. But thank you, Rolando. I will send it when the when we finish class right now. I will grade all of them. All right. Okay. Okay, no problem, no problem. So remember that tomorrow we're going to look at a little bit of um, certainty on page 12, all right? How to use expressions. It's a little bit of grammar, but it's also vocabulary usage on page 12 of your notebook, of your book, I'm sorry. And we will also do page 13. Okay, class, I'm going to do the final attendance. And today is the person that stays today is Blanca. Okay, tomorrow will be Brenda. And then the following day will be Carlos on Friday. Wednesday, today's Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Yes. On Monday of next week is Doris. Like for the extra 10 minutes. Okay, Abigail. Present. Thank you. Blanca. Present. Thank you. Brenda. Okay. Carlos. Carlos. I'm present teacher. Okay, I'm thank you. Present. Doris. Present. Thank you. Edwin. Edwin. Okay. Go to class. Francisco. Present teacher. Thank you. Freddy's. I'm here, teacher. All right, great. Glenda. Present teacher. Thank you. Iris. Present. Thank you, Jackie. Present. Thank you, Jarvin. Present teacher. Thank you. And Jennifer. Jennifer. Okay. Juan Jose. Present. Thank you. Carla Margarita, she hasn't connected yet. All right. Miguel. Present teacher. Thank you. And Neftali. Present teacher. Thank you. Rolando. Hello, hello. All right, let me see. Thelma. It's a pleasure with you. <laughs> Okay. Good to be here with you. <laughs> uh, it's, it's an honor to have you also, Thelma. Okay. Thanks. Let me see. Um, Janari. I'm here. Thank you. And Alvin. Present teacher. Okay. Thank you. Okay, class. We are finished for tonight and we will connect tomorrow. So we will continue and just be ready to, if you want to scan your book for tomorrow, be prepared for a little bit of grammar and a little bit of vocabulary on page 12, okay? So be ready for that. And the person that stays is Blanca, everyone else. Good night, and I'll see you tomorrow, same time. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Thank you. Bye. 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 Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye, Rolando. Hey. Bye, bye 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 thank you teacher <laughs> all thank right you, Miguel. good night take care
Hi. Well, hello. What do you have back I here? have some difficult. Ataf? <laughs> what is that? A-T-T-A-S. <laughs> oh, ataco, right? Ataca. Uh, attack. All right. Ataca. Ah, it's, ataca. A, it's a musical um, and? concept, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah. It means when some piece of music is played next to another. Uh, when you finish a piece of, of music and you start right next to the to the finish of the first one. Ah, okay. Uh, so it's it's a it's a concept relate in relation to to uh to music, right? Yeah, to music. Yeah, it's the name of the album of seventeen. <laughs> a group, Korean group. Okay. What color Teacher, are already? Mm -hmm. I I have doubts mm, with the conjugation. I think of the I don't know because I always uh, have problems to make the sentence and and put it in the right order. I think because I I have groups that they always talk in English. And I, I think that, or thought that I always write, like, uh, have to say cavernicola. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, because I, 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 if you heard in Spanish, I think that, that I'm writing just like, me ser de acá. Eh, oh, I, I think that that I, that it's the way that I sound when I write in English. <laughs> but you know what? You okay? So your 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 trouble is writing. Is that what you're saying? Because I you, think because your, your speaking it, skills are 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 pretty good, Blanca. To be really? honest with you, yes. To be honest with you. I was going to ask you one day if you ever been to the United States. No, never. Oh, okay. No, never. Maybe in my, in my last life. <laughs> <laughs> in another life. But okay. No, in this. <laughs> Are your, na your nails red? Your nails? Yeah, ah. but one one of them it's it's pink. Yeah, nice, nice. I could see them from my here when you were doing. I said, hey, nice. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. that's nice. All right. I have that that. Well, eh, I I I ever I ever seen so much series of the United States like friends, and that's the reason that my accent is like that <laughs> okay well that's great that's great because I, I told myself the other day i said well i asked freddy's because i kind of felt I, I could hear his accent right so that when i asked him has he been to the united states he was like yeah but then i said well what about blanca right i think it, it was something it was something about that's why i'm asking you personally right so i'm like well i don't know no. I never been in the United States, but I always want to travel, uh, especially to New York. I love the city, and I and I want to meet the the all the city, <laughs> all the the things or the place that that are in the that are in the city. Okay, well, I hope one day you do. I hope one day you yeah. do. Yeah. I hope to. <laughs> <laughs> so your 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 issue, you feel that when you write, you're not <laughs> you're not making the correct structure. Yeah. Sentence structure. Uh, for example, uh, uh, in the group that I told you that that I I mean I have to change uh on the streaming. Because we have to 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 play the album that I talk about. This album, okay. We have to to play uh, 
24 hours a day, but I have to change with other people. And, and they talk, they, they speak in English. So for example, I, I write, I'm going to sleep again. You can log in when you can, but I think that it's uh, the wrong way to say it. You can log in. Because I want to say them, log in is to log into the account. Yes, that is correct. That's how you would say it, log in. Yeah, but I don't know if, if the right sentence is, you can log in when you can. Yes, you, <laughs> yes, that is correct. Okay, okay. Or if you don't want to use can, Again, yeah, to use another twice. word. Okay, you can say you can log in when possible. Ah, okay. Or, yeah, because or, uh, at, uh, or, to put it twice, it's 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 you can do it, weird for me. It's acceptable. <laughs> it's acceptable. Don't get me wrong, but you can uh, you can say you can you can log in. Mm -hmm when possible you can say that also okay it might sound like oh hold on teacher but you you're giving like a small phrase okay yeah all right or you can say you can you can log in i'm going to give you an american terminology yeah yeah okay you can log in asap ASAP. You know, you, you as soon as possible. Ah, yes. And you say ASAP. ASAP. Okay. Instead of saying ASAP, you say the word ASAP. ASAP. Yeah. As soon as possible. Exactly. This is American. Yeah. This is American. I, I have some ideas that the American. How can how can how is the word to 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 refer to that? This one? Yeah, what is the word? Because they have a lot of, of that things. Okay, these are called- That's like abbrevi abbreviation. Abbreviation, abbreviation or acronyms. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. All right. They so have you, a lot of that. Exactly, right? They have a lot of that, right? So remember, these are Just called- like lol. Just like LOL? Just like LOL? Loud of louder? <laughs> yeah. They have like even when you spell the word love, right? You can spell it like this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Exactly, right? Remember, but you're, you're. Yeah, yeah you're right. You, you know, are. Yeah, you are or four for you. They also have like for you, right? The number four. Remember that this tiene su nombre gramatical. In in English, they're called. These are called the the proper word is acronym. Acronyms. Um, yeah, these okay. are called acronym. Acronyms in plural. Right? Yeah. Acronym. Right. So acronyms is the terminology for words like this. Okay. okay. ASAP. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You normally put a period here. Yeah, because that it's the first letter of the first all word. the the words. Yes, exactly. Exactly right. So this. Yeah, but I know I know that that acronyms. Okay. I know that. <laughs> I so, <already> so <laughs> you knew when I said ASAP, right? As soon as possible. Yeah. <laughs> oh, right. TMI. All right, TMI. TMI. This one, BTW. By the way. By the way. <laughs> yeah, there you go. So very good. So yeah, remember, I know. Um, I know some of the acronyms. Acronyms. Okay, Acronyms. They're, they're very good when you're in social media, you can use them. And you sound you're using American culture when you're using this. Yeah, right. I, that that it's one of the the goals that I have that it's to use uh, the language just like the Americans because they have a lot of for example, a piece of cake that it means that it's easy. Exactly right. For us, I, I I want to learn about that words that make more natural the language. Yeah. It's like, it's like say volado 
Yeah, yeah. Like... <laughs> yeah. Or... If you know what what it means, volado, yeah, you are already know the Salvadorian exactly language. Right? <laughs> yeah, right. Exactly, right. Those, those are like um, uh, phrases that we use that they mean something different, right? And it's like, yeah. And if you don't know, then you won't be able to understand. Right? Yeah, because if you if you learn literally literally the the means of piece of cakes and the people told you told you that you you get confused because if you don't know what it means you you think it's a piece of cakes we don't <laughs> even talk about food why they talk about that <laughs> exactly right or for example someone says don't sweat it sweat Sweat. Don't sweat it. Sweat is sudor. Yeah. Right? right? Don't sweat it. It's like, ah, don't what worry. It means. Don't worry about ah. it. Ah. All right? Ah, okay. So like, I don't know that. that yeah, it's like, <laughs> it's like, it's very popular. All right? Don't okay. sweat it, right? Ah, right? Don't worry about it, right? Don't But if you, if you take a... Uh, uh, if you ex I think the, the, the if you think about that more exact exhausted thing, I think don't sweat it, it's like don't be nervous or something like that. Yeah, it could mean like don't in other words, and when you get nervous, you're getting worried, right? It's yeah, like, yeah. It's like no, 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 right? So that's what it means. And you start to sweat. Yeah, exactly, right? And that and that <laughs> makes sense. That exactly, makes sense. Right? It makes sense, right? It connects yeah. to the nervousness, Don't sweat it. Uh, being unstable, and, and right. Yeah, yeah. And that that that's me. <laughs> that's that makes sense. All right. <laughs> let me see. Okay. Well, uh, Blanca, remember if you have ever have any doubts or if you would like to ever have any questions or any other phrases that you would like to know. Please feel free to contact me, okay? And I will gladly help okay, you. Okay, teacher. Okay? Okay, thank you very much. Okay, no problem. And continue with your nails. I like how they look. Very nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you, teacher. Peace Have out. a good night. Okay. You too. Have a good night. Thank you for staying. Bye. -bye. Bye.